Hey everyone, it's uh, Pup Twigs here for another episode of Unleashed out of Orlando, Florida. And uh, my guest today is Pub Pup Adder from Bristol, Connecticut. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Oh, I'm doing fantastic down here. It's uh, I dread having to go back to work tomorrow, but uh, that's... I, I, I got the same issue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is my last day of the weekend for me to go. My last day's on Saturday, so... I, I deliver for Amazon. I, I deliver packages for Amazon, so I'm all over the place. So I, yeah. I know that feeling. I, I do this. I don't deliver for Amazon, but I am a delivery driver, so I do that uh, nine to six, uh, five days a week. So yeah, you, you know the feeling. <laughs> oh yes, I do. Yes. So I just want to know the the origin of your pup name, and maybe the origin of your pup hood. I noticed it's red and black. And just no, uh, is, is there any significance to that? Well, my my name itself surprisingly actually kind of came to me and one of my exes. Uh, my my first name is Adam. I won't be afraid of putting it out there, but I kind of consider it as an otter. So we kind of combined Adam the otter to Adder, and that's where that's kind of where my name stuck. Okay. Uh, Pup Hood. I majority, I would say, would go with black. It would be my main color. I want to start bouncing between muzzles and different colors to finally find my final color, I guess you could say. Okay. Uh, originally, like I said, I was black. I'm black. And then my recent ex, he's the one that gave me the red one. So we swapped muzzles. So he has my black one. I have his red one. But oh, okay. other than, yeah, it was kind of just like a, like a sentimental type of thing. Yeah. All uh, right. At some point, I will most likely be probably either lime green or orange with the black because I feel like just those colors stand out more to me. So. Yeah, they those um the two colors together, especially the orange and black, really pop. Yeah, no, I I have a couple of friends who have the orange and black, and yeah, I like it. So, so how long have you been uh, a pup now? Uh, surprisingly, only three months. Uh, I think today is what the twenty first mm -hmm. or the twenty second. Yeah, yeah. So today is pretty much my three month birthday of being a puppy. So you were really new to the community. So I mean, yep. you may not have a lot of, of of time to actually be able to answer the next question or at least part of it. But what has been the easiest part of being in the pup community? And then what have you found anything that's been difficult being in the pup community? Uh, it's, I haven't found anything difficult at all to be in, in the pub community. Like, it's yeah. been easy. The community is welcoming, and this year there hasn't been any issues for me, and I don't think there's going to be any issues for any future pub that wants to get into the community. Good, good. Well, that's good to hear. Have you found anything? If you could, if you could change something in the pub community, would you change it? Uh, it's more of outside of the pup community of people that self humans, I guess you could say. Yeah. To get them to understand, it's not just a kink. It's more of a, a lifestyle. It's a way to kind of vent and get rid of nerves and get rid of anxiety. It's probably one of your questions coming up, but it's more of a, of a release, I guess you could say. It's not just about a kink. Okay. Uh, and I know it'll be in three months, but. Would there be any advice that you would want to give someone that is just now starting to get into the pup community? Uh, you don't need gear. You don't need anything like that. Just kind of jump in. Like, don't don't go nose nose deep. Go tail first. But just be be gentle and just jump in. Like, it's we're, we're all welcoming. Like, if you ever come across me, I am the first pup to run up to you, even if I don't know you, and I'm gonna give you a hug. Like, I'm not afraid of welcoming a, a new pop or a new friend, I guess you could say. Good. That, that's the kind of welcoming committee we like to have it as, a, as being a pop because, you know, everyone's welcome. Yeah, exactly. Like, that's how it should feel. Like, you should feel welcome. If that's you have right. any issues, then, then, then reach out to somebody that might, might be closer to you or try, try to reach out to somebody who might, might know a little more about what, what's going on or the event you might be at or something like that yeah yeah so what brings you the most joy out of being a pup and and pup play 
I I kind of use it more to, like I said earlier, kind of just release and get rid of anxiety, get rid of my depression. And I kind of just ignore all of my human responsibilities and yes. just kind of just be me. It, it, there's something about just it's a release to be able to put the this on and just get in that headspace. Yep, like as soon as soon as I get out of work, it's in my car. Like I don't drive with it because I don't fully know the, the law about it. Yeah. But it, it goes on. I'll sit there for a couple of minutes, get into my my headspace, and take it off and drive drive uh, back home. And then as soon as I'm home, it's right back on. Like yeah, it's, like it's, it's, it's part of me. It, it's yeah, it's a part of us now. Once once you get in it, it's a part. So so what about play toys? I see you got a ball in your hand. Is that one of your favorite play yeah. toys? Uh, this is actually my it is my favorite one. Uh, since I came out recently as a pup, my actual first Pride event was the Enfield Pride in Connecticut, which was a couple months ago. So, like, this is one of the little, like, stress toys they kind of gave. Uh -huh. It became my, one of my favorite toys. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Did you enjoy yourself? Oh, I, I loved it. And I've tried to been going to all the other ones that happened recently in, in Connecticut and there's a, a big one on the beach coming up in a couple of weeks, and I can't wait. So oh, that'll be fun. Yeah, all right, I, I can't wait. <laughs> so, so what has being a pup done for your mental health? Because I know it helps so many people. Uh, it's helped me tremendously. Like, uh, like I said, as soon as I get out of work, like I deliver for Amazon, so I'm all over the place, kind of dealing with humans and dealing with dogs and or bio bio dogs. I should. Yeah. the dogs that some, sometimes don't like me because I'm carrying a box or carrying a random package. Oh, but, yes, I know. Uh, like, yeah, like, it's definitely a stress relief like, in, in general. Uh, mm -hmm. Anxiety-wise, yeah, my anxiety, once it goes starts spiking, and I put the, my hood on, it kind of just starts dissipating little by little. Like I don't have anything to, to worry about. Like it's my my biggest thing is just my hood is like my release. Like when I go puppy, it's I forget everything else. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, is there anything that you wish you had known before you became a pup? Uh, to to be honest, probably that it's not always about gear. You don't need a hood. You don't need a harness. You don't need a collar. Like you can just be yourself and just go to, go to an event or go. Explore and just be a puppy. Just be yourself. Yeah, because we all know that the gear is not cheap. It's expensive. Yeah, no. <laughs> like my this hood itself is from Mister S, and uh, it's not a custom hood, but it's one of their basic hoods, and uh, it's a hundred dollars right there. So. Oh yeah, yeah. You get, <laughs> once, once you get the hood, then you got to get the harness, and then the collar, and, and then yeah, yep. it just it's expensive. So you have to buy it a piece at a time. Yep, like my collar itself was actually made by a pup that's on Telegram. He's actually in one of the groups, sorry, the motorcycle. The, but I like, don't have mine on, on today, but I've got a collar similar to yours, except mine's black and silver, and it was made by a pup on Telegram. I wonder if it's the same one. Is is he based out of Florida? Oh, nope, he's based out of Massachusetts. Okay, so the, the one I got was uh, based yeah. out of Florida here, so. Yeah, they, they might talk, so. <laughs> they might, you never know. So what yeah, kind of he, Oh. Go ahead, no, go ahead. What kind of hobbies do you have? Uh, mostly, I, I like to kind of just explore. I guess you could say go for walks, go for hikes. Uh, when I when I'm stuck inside, it's more just watching movies, playing video games, kind of just relaxing, being being me. Uh, my my hobbies like they kind of vary. I guess you could say like I like I like drawing. Uh, I like to just kind of be outdoors and just I guess doing doing my own thing. Good, good. Well, what about pets? Do you have any uh, pets of your own? Uh, I do not have any pets. My roommate has a little tiny, I want to say she's a terrier, but I'm not 100% sure what, what she is, but she's one of the cutest little little dogs I've ever met. <laughs> Good. Well, I know you've heard the terms beta, omega, and alpha, and handler, and all those. Do you currently identify as any of those uh, at this time, or is uh, it still a little too new for you? At, at this time, no. Uh, I'm kind of, I guess you could say a stray, but I'm not a stray. I have my group of friends who are all pups. Like I have the Telegram community that I'm in mm -hmm. that if I really need something, I can reach out and they'll be there. Like 
I had a group of friends that I actually was with the past two, two days that, uh, for the first time being at their place and they welcomed me right in and we really hung out. And, uh, but yeah, I, I've never really had, I guess, much, much issues because of the group I'm in. Okay. All right. Well, you know, down here in Florida, there's been a lot in the news, especially the political news about pronouns. Uh, and do you care to share your pronouns on here at all? Uh, technically, I am a he, him, or pup. I, I, I usually go more towards the pup. Uh, even at work, I my collar's on, my tag is there. Like they all know know me as being a pup. So it's kind of the one of the like, the easiest ones for me. It was just pup. Just pup. Well, uh, that, that's awesome that you wear that at work and stuff. I at this point I don't, but boy, that's, I love that that you do that. So besides the uh, event that you yeah, mentioned, the only, only issue working for Amazon and wearing it. Do what? I was going to say, my only issue with the collar with Amazon is I have a giant tan line going around my neck. But <laughs> other than that, yeah, no, no issues. Good, <laughs> good. So what about events near you? I know you said there was a beach event coming up, but do do you have any other pup events coming up? Uh, the actual Telegram group that I'm in actually throws a pool party, uh, I want to say, every month and a half, two months. There's a recent one. There's a new, um, one coming up soon for one of the pups that runs the group. He has mm -hmm. his birthday coming up, so he's throwing a pool party. But majority of their pool parties or kind of movie like movie nights and stuff like that that are made out of the group that we're actually part, part of. So it makes it a little easier. Uh, other than that, may, maybe there's a couple nights that one of the local bars will have like a tent night. And mm -hmm. I I can actually go as, as, as a puppy. But other than that, it's more of just me kind of, I guess, making life out of everything. <laughs> there you go. So if you could ask uh, my next uh, guest uh, coming up uh, a specific question about the community or about themselves as a pup, what question would you want to know? Well, I guess... It kind of starts with a, a statement, I guess. Uh, most likely, I'm going to try to run for North the, the Northeast Pup uh, for 2024. My biggest thing that I'm bad using the back myself is more of seeing if there's a way for the pup community now <clears throat> to make it easier for future pups so that they don't have to deal with all the stuff, the ridicule, and everything else that we're dealing with on media and trying to, to be ourselves and people seem to not fully understand and want to attack. So I guess okay. the question is what would be the easiest thing for them to try to figure out, I guess, to make it easier for future pups? Okay. Uh, and that, that's a good valid question. Like if they have any any kind of yeah, if yeah, if they have any kind of advice or anything to help future pups, like I can only do so much, but that's why I want to try to run for the Northeast Pup, see if I can make a difference. Good, good. Well, good luck with that. I've got a friend down here running for Florida Puppy 2024 uh, right now. Um, we'll find out something in September if he wins. Yeah, I, I got to apply for, for the next month, and then hopefully uh, I can hear something back. Good. Well, good luck on that. I hope you uh, win. Thank it. you. So... I need some background before I ask your question from another pup, but have you ever been to uh, a mosh? Uh, I guess yes and no. Uh, the pool party that I, or the group I'm in, usually is a mosh area at the pool party. So I okay. guess you could say yes, but not, not a, a bigger one other than maybe the 20 or 30 pups that show up to the party. Okay. Well, um, this one came from a uh, pup, Gibby, out of Denver, Colorado. And they wanted to know, what do your moshes look like? And what are the common do's and don'ts at your mosh? All right. Uh, I can definitely explain that because I'm actually one of the ones that kind of, I guess, tries to help keep the pup safe. Uh, when it comes down to it, the mosh itself, as long as we can keep a certain amount of pups in place and together as, as a group, then we just kind of 
and have go, kind of have fun. Okay. Uh, the only things that are not allowed is if they're wearing a tail, do not touch that tail. That tail is off limits. That goes to the pups. That goes to any of the friends that came with the pups. Goes to any of the handlers. Do not touch a tail. Tail is a no-no. Uh, the second thing is like how I have the spikes in my muzzle, or mm -hmm. some pups will have the earrings and stuff like that. Just make sure they're they're out before you go in because nobody needs to get stabbed by a random object. Yeah. But other than that, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of, it's kind of have fun. If you want to take your collar off, like me, I usually I'll take mine off most likely because of it being made for me. Like I don't want to get ruined. Yeah. But most pups will leave them on and just kind of just go have fun. Okay. Awesome. So if let's say some other pups see this uh, video down the road and they want to reach out to you and say hi or or good luck to you on on the uh, 2024, what kind of social media would you want to share with us? Uh, I am on Facebook. Uh, I am on Twitter, uh, Instagram, but the biggest one I'm usually on is Telegram. You can okay. always reach out to me at, at, at her, uh, X10. It's pretty much my name, A-D-T-E-R-X, and then one zero. Okay. Uh, that's, the, that's the easiest way to reach out to me. And then you can, I'm up for DMs, I'm up for talks. Like, I have no problem trying to help, I guess, your pups or any kind of pups. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm a listener. You'll you listen. <laughs> Give them some advice. Yeah, I, I, I care. <laughs> Good. Well, that's the way we all should be. So, any last words uh, at all before we uh, jump off of this? Uh, I guess all I can say is for all the future pups, just keep keep doing what you want to do, and just be yourself. And when it comes down to it, just if you want to take your step step into the, the pup pup world, the universe, I guess you could say. Just take a step. Yeah, we're, we're all going to be here to support you no matter what. There you go. We sure will. So it has been a pleasure getting to chat with you. I appreciate the, the time. And uh, we'll be talking again soon, all right? All right.